Welcome to Celeb Kona KE. I hope you're doing good from whatever part of the world that you're watching us from. It is among the many stories that are not going to head very soon. The impeachment of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya regarding Gesha and is, is a replacement. But as of right now, we are looking at a certain message that has come from the former Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, that is Buana. CJ David Maraga. David Maraga has pointed out on a certain mistake that President William Ruto together with President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta made while they were both in office back then that well currently make uh, that is currently haunting uh, William Ruto and which will make Kedora Kedeki not to succeed as a deputy president. Former Chief Justice David Maraga directive that he had given to the executive has come to haunt them over Professor Kedora Kendeke swearing in as the third deputy president under the 2010 constitution. Following the Supreme Court ruling which required a, required a fresh election to be conducted within 60 days, Maraga and the judiciary came under intense criticism from some political leaders and their supporters, particularly from the Jubilee Party, which had backed former President Uhuru Kenyatta and the current President William Ruto, then the Deputy President. Remember in the 2017 general election when the judiciary ruled in support of Raila Odinga that there was a uh, rigging in the votes that led to President Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto being elected as president and deputy for the second term. Now, Uhuru Kenyatta together with William Ruto went off to attack Chief Justice David Maraga and to call him out, which is something that really caught David Maraga and the whole judiciary filming and in anger because the judiciary is supposed to be an independent body. Now, they, they accused the judiciary of being biased and undermining the will of the people. Uhuru himself, while speaking after the ruling, called the judges crooks and vowed to fix the judiciary after the repeat election, which really happened because they removed David Maraga as the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya and instilled Chief Justice Mother Kome. Now, responding to attacks by Uhuru, Ruto, and their allies then, Maraga held a press conference and defended the judiciary's independence and role in upholding the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. He noted that while the judiciary would not bow to political pressure, those dissatisfied with its, ex uh, with its existence could pursue legal avenues to abolish it through a constitutional amendment. In regards to Maraga's sentiment, lawyer and former LCK President Nelson Harvey has faulted the executive for ignoring court orders that is that is barring uh, Kideki's assumption to the office of the deputy president. According to Harvey, assumption of office by either the president or the deputy president is a constitutional process that cannot take place without first being sworn in by the chief registrar of the judiciary in the presence of the, uh, of, the just, uh, of the Chief Justice, the CJ. Avi, Avi terms the, impe the impeding swearing in of Kendeki as, in ins as an insult to the judges considering they are ignoring a ruling in Milimani Law Court by Justice or Judge uh, Chachamuita and another one by Kerugoya Law Court that has barred Kendeki's assumption to office. Now listen. He says this, why are these people insulting judges? Do they know that a president or deputy cannot assume office before being sworn in by the CRJ in the presence of the CJ? They forgot CJ Maraga told them that they cannot call for a referendum and abolish the judiciary if they do not need it. That is something that has currently come under public scrutiny. Now, according to the Constitution, a declaration hereby issues that an acting Chief Justice who has sat to office by virtue of 
Section 5, 4, and 5 of the Constitution Act, or of the Judicial Service Act, must take an oath of office as required under Article 74 of the Constitution as read with Article 259 uh, 259 and uh, 259.3b of the Constitution before assuming the office. That is something that has currently come haunting these people. Now, not only looking at that, I, I want us to look it at this perception. Ruto has learned on different ways of maneuvering through handles of the constitution and undermining the constitution for a very long time. It might not be the first nor the second that Ruto has undermined the constitution. And Ruto did not teach himself to do so. He learned from his elder brother, Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, on how to maneuver and undermine the constitution of the Republic of Kenya and the judicial system at large. These people, back then, Maraga told them, if they want to have control over the judiciary, then they should conduct a referendum where they can change certain articles of the constitution that gives them control over the judiciary and the high court and the court of appeal. But Maraga knew no Kenya would allow uh, no Kenyan would allow such powers to be, to be bestowed upon a president because the president will turn out to be a dictatorial president. Now the reason why President William Ruto has even stalled on uh, swearing in the deputy president Kedore Kendiki is because he knows under the Kenyan constitution he will be taken into a court of law and these might be grounds for his impeachment and once he has violated the constitution to that level then anybody that files an impeachment motion against him it doesn't matter that the impeachment motion does not succeed through or does not see through the, the, the national assembly and the senate but it might see through the, judi the judiciary because the judiciary is what will be undermined remember Deputy President William Ruto and uh, he, he, he cannot swear in uh, a deputy, I mean the president, President William Ruto, sorry, cannot swear in a DP with, in absence of uh, the, in absence of the Chief Justice. They might try to pull a Kevoito, a Kevoito Raila Kaida thing that was pulled out back then by by uh, no akivoito no, kibaki thing that was pulled then by Zemoi kibaki where he was sworn in by in the presence of only one judge the judge that would listen to president william ruto then he would not have a chance in the bench against other judges of the high court because now it will be that you are going against us and we are the ones that are given the mandate to run and ensure that the constitution of the Republic of Kenya is upheld and the rule of law is respected. So the greatest mistake Ruto can make right now is swearing in Professor Kedore Kendeke. And that is why the former CJ, David Maraga, is laughing out loudly at President William Ruto, telling him, you know what, I told you so. I told you so. Nelson Avi also says, I told you so. If you would have listened, if there is something that you cannot do is to run the, 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 Kenyan, the, the Kenyan government like a kiosk or how you are trying to run it. Now, I want also to read a few tweets that came from uh, DP Rigadi Gashagwa's lawyer, that is Buanende Gwanjiro, because he also went ahead to 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 say to, to to give out a certain tweet in the guns to the swearing in of uh, a deputy president and i want to read them out clearly he says number one no deputy president can be sworn in outside the legal uh, the legal habits of the assumptions of the office of the president hack number two swearing in is a judicial process and function 
are not an executive function. Number three, court orders must be respected. So if Ruto goes ahead to go ahead with that, I tell you, he gives the high court, the, the judiciary, the court of appeal, the Supreme Court, he gives, he, he gives the, 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 the judicial system of the Republic of Kenya grounds of impeaching him. So it will not be the head of Rigadi Gashagwas that will only be served, but also that of the president. He will now start facing legal charges. That's it for now. Go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment on the comment section. See you in our next video. This is Celeb Corner KH.